First and foremost, this is usable as a phone. So let's make a call. Now you can call people, there's Leela. You can call people by dialing in the number or you can use the phone book. Let's just give her a call and see how it works. Now this is paired by Bluetooth. There we go. Hello. Hello, can you hear me all right? Yeah. What's the sound quality like? Nice and clear? That's exactly that is exactly what it is, a speakerphone and the echo of the kitchen. Okay. Okay, well That's thank what you. It like. Very good. Thanks a lot. Bye. There we go. It works perfectly well as a phone. So now I'm gonna disconnect it from um, being Bluetooth connected, and we have to go to connections, Bluetooth, and disconnect it. And now it's connected only via Wi Fi and uh, GSM, so it is a standalone phone now. So let's, uh, let's see what that sounds like and how good the phone is. That, of course, we're relying entirely on the uh, network here. So I've got my favourite contact here that have come straight through from my Samsung phone and I'm going to call, that's the other way of doing it. Let's call her on the mobile. Hello, okay, I'm calling you a different way now. Can you tell any difference? Uh, you sound less echoey. Well, that's because I'm calling you using the phone's own SIM card instead of using the Bluetooth connection through my other phone. So maybe it's right. better this way. It's more direct, I suppose. Yeah, it sounds better. Okay, well, that's very good. Um, you sound just as clear, so uh, that's great. Works really well. Good. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. And there you have it. You can see the uh, signal and Wi-Fi strength indicators on the top now. Um, contacts I've shown you, that works very well. Messages uh, is just the um, phone's own messaging service. So the schedule app's very good. It basically takes your calendar app dates and uh, to-do items and puts them in your watch straight off the phone. Um, here you have your standard um, S Health stuff and you have a UV meter here. We've briefly looked at that. Sleep monitor, heart rate monitor, exercise monitor, and the daily pedometer. And yes, it's very pathetic, I know, but I've had a very quiet day today. There's a running app, uh, Nike Plus. There's a music player, which can be used as a media controller as well uh, to control the media on your phone. Uh, news briefing, which is basically, I think, Flipboard. Okay, maybe not. Uh, weather app, which seems to work quite well. It gives you local weather, um, sunrise and sunset times. Ah, that's not the weather today. It's horrible. Find my device, which can help you find your uh, phone if you've put it somewhere and you can't find it. And then after these apps, which we've just been through, uh, we've got all the apps that I've downloaded and installed um, that were not on the device when I got it. Now, um, Samsung have worked very hard with some app developers to enable the functionality of this uh, watch to be really good and for example here we have Opera Mini Browser um, which is a full-on web browser. So I'm going to type in the BBC website and the suggestions come up very well, very quickly. And there is the BBC homepage. And it's actually quite readable, it's not bad at all. Um, you can scroll around the web page. Sure, it's not going to be like a full um, web page on a large device, but it's actually readable. Now, I've also downloaded um, a free, these are all free uh, so far, a nice bike computer app which uses your GPS to give you a distance and distance travelled, average speed and so on. Um, this one wants the phone connected. 
So I was under the impression that uh, I didn't need to connect my phone. So this one requires the phone to be connected in order to work. But it's like an old-fashioned LCD screen. Um, there we go. Now it's worked out as it's independent, so it's looking for a GPS fix. Uh, it's like an old-fashioned bike computer, LCD bike computer. This is an alarm clock. Um, you just basically key in what time you want it to go off. Car finder, so you can set this where your car is. Um, gear navigator was an aftermarket app, not the turn-by-turn -turn directions that the built-in navigator has. And this is provided by Nokia's Here Maps. Um, I haven't actually had a chance to try this yet because the weather's been horrendous. Um, but this uses GPS and Wi-Fi signals to locate you and then you can type in an address and it will take you only walking though. Um, it won't do this in the car because of traffic regulations. It will only give you navigation around town uh, walking from one place to another, but that's actually quite handy if you're in a strange town and you don't know where you are or where to get to, it will help you with that. So obviously it's going to take a while to log in because we're indoors and it can't find the GPS. So let's get back out of that. Um, okay, the compass was uh, Samsung's own app. Um, so I'm going to have to do this now with my wrist, sorry. That's pretty accurate actually. It seems to be reading quite correctly uh, where south is. We're supposed to be in a south-facing house and the back windows are pretty much where that's pointing. So not bad at all. Digital compass built in uh, for all you outdoor enthusiasts. Snapsy's quite clever. That's basically an app that connects to your uh, mobile phone. And here is the image being shown from the camera on my mobile phone. And you can press the button to take a picture uh, on the phone without the phone being on, uh, the screen being on on the phone. And that's another free app. Until recently, all of these... Uh, Phone remote viewfinder apps were about a pound or one and a half dollars if you like, one dollar fifty, but uh, now available for free, quite handy. And there you go. Applications are downloaded from the uh, Gear Manager app on your phone. This is the only thing that this watch can't do on its own, it can't install apps remotely on its own, it has to be connected to your phone to do so. Now, uh, what I like is the, uh, these dials on the, on the screen here actually take you straight to the app that they're related to. And I also like the fact that uh, you can alter the dials on the screen and put them where you want and change them around so they do different things. Um, that's all done in the watch face designer or manager. So that's what's built into the watch and a few apps that you can get for it.